Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you the products that I ordered during the Sephora VIB Rouge event. I don't know what they're calling it now. The 20% off sale. Anyway, I don't have a whole lot. I didn't go just super, super hog wild. I just did a few things. Um, mostly skincare. There is a little bit of makeup here. Not a whole lot. Um, you are seeing this video later than what I intended. Well, first of all, I ordered all of this the very first day that um, Rouge members were able to order, which was what? November the 1st. And I didn't get everything. I didn't get my order until Friday the 7th or 8th, something like that because of one of the products that I ordered it had to be shipped ground anyway but that's okay and then I didn't get to record the video when I wanted to because well one my husband and I decided to take a little vacation a little mini getaway and it never fails whenever we decide to um, go away for the weekend something happens and it never ever ever fails and unfortunately this time it was something major that happened and um, my little granddaughter um, she's three she'll be four in February um, I've seen her on videos a time or two and way back when I was watching her all the time but anyway um, unfortunately we had another cancer scare here in the Rankin household and um, she has been sick for the last few weeks three weeks since had a really bad cough. You know, I, I talked about how we all had the stomach bug. Well, ever since she had the stomach bug, she's had this cough. And she has an appointment this coming Wednesday to see her pediatrician. She couldn't get in any sooner because he's been on vacation. My daughter did take her to urgent care a week ago, and urgent cares are such a joke. Anyway. So, and I have to say that my, my little granddaughter is autistic and she has a very, very high pain tolerance and she woke up on Saturday night. My husband and I are in Branson. We're like four hours away. She wakes up on Saturday night, like 11 o'clock at night, screaming that her chest hurts and for her to verbally say that she hurts you know that she hurts because she very 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 rarely indicates pain um, for instance just a few days ago she was on the playground and she was going down the slide another kid went down the slide right behind her and caught her fingernail ripped her entire fingernail off and she never even indicated that it even happened blood going everywhere she wanted to keep playing. She just does not indicate pain. So they take her to the emergency room. You know, she, my daughter calls us, tells us what's going on. Um, they first of all start giving her a breathing treatment. Then they start her on fluids. And then um, they determine that she has pneumonia. So they start her on antibiotics at this hospital. And um, then they do x-rays. And then my daughter calls us like at 2.30. The first call is at midnight. 2.30 she calls us and they're like, they're getting ready to transport her, getting ready to load her up in ambulance and take her to Children's Hospital. She has a mass on her lung and they think it's cancer. So of course my husband and I, we jump up, we get loaded up and we leave out of Branson. Like I say, we're four hours away. We make it to Tulsa in three hours. I was driving. <laughs> uh, thank goodness there was no traffic. There was no deer. We we got there. We got there. Lickety split. But anyway, um, she does not have cancer. Thank goodness. Um, it is just a very severe case of pneumonia. They even thought there for a little bit that she had TB because they just couldn't figure out that mass, why the mass was just so severe. But it is um, pneumonia. Um, 
Now she, um, they're very concerned at this point. They think they've got the pneumonia under control. She's still in the hospital. This is Monday. Um, they're still treating the pneumonia. But now she has a bowel blockage. And they're trying to get that obstruction unobstructed. <laughs> but... If that doesn't happen within the next 24 hours, then they're going to have to go in for surgery. So, um, she is one sick little, little girl. So, anyway, so that's what is going on now. Lord, we just can't catch a break. So, anyway, prayers are definitely um, needed for for, the, for her. So, but she, she was doing really well. Like the first 24, 36 hours, I guess, with them coming in, listening to her, poking her, different things of that nature. But today, today was anytime anybody came in, it was immediately get out. Very sternly. Um, she didn't want them to get near her. I mean, it was a very clear, very loudly, very vocal, get out. If she could probably use the F word, <laughs> she probably would. <laughs> but yeah, so um, she'd had enough. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how the night goes. I know tonight they're going to do another round of antibiotic for her, and they're going to start her some potassium. Um, I think the um, pediatrician said he thought that that might help with the obst obstruction, the bowel obstruction. Um, they're, of course, they're doing Miralax, and they did some enemas, but the, that's for the lower. What they're concerned about is the upper obstruction. Anyway, so. <sighs> Poor little girl. Anyway, so let's get what I got, and then, um, anyway. So we'll start with um, what delayed my shipment and that was this right here from Cinema Secret. It's the brush cleaner that I use every single day to spot clean my uh, mainly my eye makeup brushes and this had to be shipped ground. I don't know why. Maybe it's I guess because it's liquid. But anyway I buy one of these every year during the sale to get the 20% off. I still have the bottle that I bought last year, I still have this much left because it doesn't take very much of this at all. It just takes a smidge and it just cleans your brushes so good. And when they dry, they smell really good. And that's this leaked. So that's how much leaked out. <laughs> so even with them shipping it ground, but they did, they, um, it's in this, um, bag here. So it's sealed. So it didn't really leak over anything but anyway I got that so if you never tried this this is really good um, brush cleaner I really do like it so the next thing that I ordered that I was, oh, I was very disappointed in this because I thought it was different than what I ordered than what it is and anyway it's my own fault it's from Kaja I think is how you say that but it's the look looking like a snack little set. This was $39. It's a $49 value. And I was really interested in the little um, eyeshadow stack that's in here. And it is the eyeshadow that I have on my eyes. And I've seen Tara, ba Tara Babies um, haul these little eyeshadow stacks. And for whatever reason, I thought this little stack here, this color here, was a matte. But it's not. It's all it's all shimmer and it's shimmer with glitter lots and lots of glitter so if you don't like anything glitter which I really don't but anyway it's what I did just the eyes today that's the color that you see on my eyes I'm thinking about sending it back to be honest with you but there's a peach color here and then there is a like a goldish color and then the brown color that you seen there and I don't know, maybe it's just because I thought that this was matte. And that's why I ordered the kit as opposed to just ordering one of the stacks. Because I thought that... <laughs> I really did thought that that one, that one color was matte. 
and I thought well, that would be perfect because then I could do you know create a whole eye look with those three colors because that one color is matte but it wasn't so anyway that was the the little um, eye stack and the eye stacks are around twenty four twenty eight dollars so it was really a, a good deal because you also get this little um, <laughs> it just went bloop <laughs> hang on oh my stars you get a little a blush and it's a little stamper now I have I didn't use that but it's got this little stamper but first of all it's in the shape of a heart so I don't know which I don't I don't think I would use this anyway but then here is the um, the blush I haven't opened it I'm not well I start saying I'm not going to open it but I'm gonna send it even if I send it back they can't put it back on the shelf anyway because I use the eyeshadows so let's open it let me show you but it's a little like a sponge kind of like a cushion it's a cushion it's a cushion blush so might as well open it and look at it right but it's a blush and you're supposed to put this little thingy in there and stamp it and then stamp it onto your cheeks but with the heart shaped I, I don't know how that's gonna work but it's a cream blush and uh, this is how I am with cream I, I like the concept of cream but I don't I can't work with cream very well at all I just don't have good luck working with cream products I buy them and have every intention of using a cream product and then I don't and then they just sit in my door and then end up drying out I think that switch is okay that clicks in there anyway that's what it looks like all together and then it also had in the kit a highlighter and again this is like a cream type highlighter and I tried to use this today but I didn't have any luck with it. It just kind of moved everything around. When I swatched it, it was really pretty and I liked it. And I thought, oh, I could probably work with that. But I didn't be able to see that. That's right up there. And I thought, well, that's a really pretty highlighter. I would like that. But then when I tried to work with it onto my cheeks, it just kind of moved my foundation around and I thought well I'll put my powder on and then when I try to put on top of my powder it kind of moved my powder around I don't know I'm just really kind of disappointed in the whole kit to be honest with you so I don't know and then it has a lip product a uh, lip gloss I think it is is it a lip gloss or is it a lipstick I don't remember What does this say? It's in the color chiffon, whatever it is. It's got a doe foot applicator. No, it's not a lip gloss, it's a lipstick. It's a pretty color. It doesn't have any smell. Maybe just a maybe just a faint fruity smell, but that could just be me thinking it does but anyway I mean the colors and everything are really really pretty it's just I just don't know how to work with them it's just the operator okay it's not the products it's just the operator so then I was watching um another youtuber Mandy I don't remember what her youtube name is but anyway she was talking about the RMS highlighter that she really likes and I seen that it was in a kit and first of all I thought the kit was going to be um, bigger than this <laughs> this is little this is really little but anyway and this is the RMS Luminizer Duo and it contains the luminizer that she was talking about in um, Grand Dame 
Grande Dame. And it's just a little mini, which I thought was okay because I have a lot of highlighters. And, um, but this is like really, really mini. <laughs> really, really mini. Mm -hmm. the, that is, and this is actually the main highlighter that I have on today. And I'm going to swatch it. I'm going to swatch it right here so you can see it. But she just went on and on about how special this was. But it's really just mainly a champagne highlighter. Um, not really that. I'm not really that impressed with it, to be honest with you. I'm not. It's a little bit more on my nose. I'm just not that impressed with it. And um, if I look tired, I, it's because I am tired. <laughs> Didn't get any sleep Saturday night. Anyway, I had the boys today. And then it came with this little pot of stuff that, again, is like a cream product that I don't know how to work with. And I try to. And this is the Living Luminizer from RMS Beauty. And it's like a bomb, a luminizing bomb stuff that had really good reviews and stuff but I don't know how to work it <laughs> to be honest with you I don't know how to work it I don't know how to work with it I don't know but it looks pretty if you can see it you're going to be able to see it so I don't know can you really get a good swatch of it can you see that I've just been feeling so dry here lately, too. Especially up underneath my eyes. They probably look really bad today. My allergies have been bothering me really bad, too. My daughter and her husband, they got a dog, a little puppy, a little pug. He's cute and everything, but I am so allergic to the darn thing. that Every time I go over there, I just want to claw my eyeballs out. So... This probably doesn't help the under eye dryness. And then the other makeup things I got are a couple of eyeliners. One is the Sephora, well, they're both the Sephora brand, but this one is the Sephora um, da -da -da, in the color Coco. It's their waterproof. These are $10, and this is in the color Coco. They're 10 I think, and then you got a discount for Eight. This is what I have as my eyeliner today. I'll swatch it right here so you can see. There's the swatch of it right there. I really like these. And when you get them for 20% off, which by the time you see this video, the, the discount's going to be over, and I'm really sorry about that, but it's just the way that worked. And then this one here. I didn't get this opened. I was going to open it before I started filming. Oh, yeah, I finally got that stupid package off of there. But anyway, yes, it's a retractable one where the other one you have to sharpen it. And like I said, I've not used this kind before. Oh, and the tip of it just broke off. That's why I don't like these. But there's the color of it, which is this one right here. And it looks almost like the exact same color as the other one. Even in person, there's not that much difference. <laughs> so anyway, ordered one of those. Okay, so the rest of the stuff is um, skincare. But first, I want to talk about some things that were sent to me through Autoly that um, you can purchase from Sephora. The first product I'm going to tell you, don't waste your money on. And this is from Hum. It's the Collagen Pop. And these were sent to me from Octoly from Hum. And it's the Premium Marine Collagen and Vitamin C Skin Booster. There's 10 tablets in here. Um, they're $12. This is the one I opened. First of all, you pop these in water. And one of their concepts is, is that it's supposed to help you drink more water. Well, first of all, Here's the little tablet. You have to break it in half to put it into your water bottle. It tastes horrible. They do not dissolve. 
worth of flip in the water. So as you're drinking it, you're going to get a chunk in your mouth, which is gross. I hate that. And I don't really believe the claim that it's going to help um, with collagen and skin boost. I don't know. You would have to really take it for a very, very long time to do that. But um, it's supposed to replenish and hydrate your skin with highly absorbable premium collagen peptides vitamin, and vitamin C. Um, each tablet upgrades your water into a wild strawberry and lemon infused beauty tonic that boosts your collagen levels. Yeah. I don't believe it. First of all, the... Um, it tasted horrible. Don't waste your money. And they sent, I have, they sent me three, which is a month's supply of them. They are going in the trash. That was nasty. It was gross. I did not like them. It's one thing about Octoly. You can be totally honest. And that is my opinion. Do not waste your money on those. And then the next thing that they sent to me from home is the Mighty Night um, Little Vitamins. And I have not use these <clears throat> enough to know I haven't used them at all but it's supposed to help overnight snail snail huh <laughs> cell renewal for skin and body ceramides C CoQ10 ferulic acid and valerian root so I'm gonna be giving these a try you're supposed to take two soft gels servings per container is 30 I want to see what these look like. They sent these to me, and um, I have with these I have 30 days to do a written review on Sephora. But but I wanted to let you guys know that I have them, and that's what they look like. They're not too big. I was afraid they would be really really big, but. There we go. I have those to, to start taking and to review. It's supposed to help support skin cell turnover while you sleep. Boost sleep quality and improve skin tone. We'll see. We'll see how this works. So, I don't know what this valerian root is, but anyway, I have those to try. That was sent to me from home through Octoly. Okay, so from Ola Henriksen. Now, this is some stuff that I know works. <laughs> I ordered this little kit, the Three Little Wonders kit, because I wanted the vitamin C serum because I know this works because I've used the little ones um, a lots of times and I thought I'm just going to get this big one and then get this kit because this was a really good value and in the kit it has I'm going to open it up because I want to start using this stuff Put this down on the ground. But it has the truth serum which is a vitamin C serum then it has the Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. And I am going to use this um, in the daytime um, right before I put makeup on. I'm going to use this as a primer type situation. Just to kind of prime my skin because I don't think it's going to be enough to... Um, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be enough moisturization um, for my skin because I'm very, very dry. Very, very dry. I'm going to put some of this underneath my eyes because my dry eyes are, like I said, they've just been so dry. Ooh, that went in like really, really fast. So that's why I think it would be really good to use right before makeup because it just like went in just like that. Yeah, so... I have that, and that's what I read with a lot of reviews too, is a lot of people use that, uses this for that. And then I wanted to try this, which is the Invigorating Night Transformation Gel. This sounded really good too. 
and I wanted to give that a try. And that was in the kit in a full size bottle. So as a matter of fact, all these were full size. And it's the AHA complex, so can't go wrong with an AHA. Facial retexturizing gel. Mm-hmm, mm hmm yep, so got those to try. And then the next thing that I have is from Belief, Belief, and it's the Believe in Truth, and this was $38, it was a $55 value, and I wanted it mainly for this moisturizer right here, and which is the True Cream Moisturizing Balm, which is a full size. And then it had in here the moisturizing eye balm and the aqua balm jelly cleanser right here which is just a deluxe size sample same with this just a deluxe size sample of that and i like that um this little moisturizer too that's a good moisturizer for under the eyes also in fact i'm gonna put some of that under my eyes because that other cream from Ola Henriksen, it absorbed into my hand before I got to put it underneath my eye. As I'm telling you, under my eyes have just been so dry. I think it's the um, the eye cream that I'm using. I don't think it's moisturizing. I think it's zapping all the moisture under my eye. Whew. I took all my makeup off, but I don't care. My eyes are just so dry. And then the last thing that I got is from Laneige. I told you I didn't get a whole lot. So that's why I was able to do a lot of talking. So I have this little kit from Laneige. And in it, it has the full size of the water sleeping mask. So I'll be using that at night. And then it has the deluxe size sample of <laughs> the water bank water bank moisture cream just a little deluxe size sample of it and then a deluxe size sample of the cream skin toner and moisturizer for normal to dry skin I haven't used that before so it'll be a good time to try it. And then, this is one of the reasons why I really wanted the kit is because I wanted this, but I, which is the Laneige, the Lip Sleepy Mask and Berry. But I didn't want to commit to a full size of this because it takes so doggone long to use up a full size of it. But I needed another one, so I have this. So, so that is it for my um, Sephora haul. That is what I ordered. Um, today is Monday, which is the last day of the sale, and to be truthful with you, I may, I may place another order, because I'm, I'm thinking I really, really need a, a moisturizing under eye cream, because I think what I'm using is not, is not cutting it for moisturization, so I may place another order. And I may get something from Belief for under the eyes, because um, I like that. And I may get a kit, um, I'm eyeing a kit from It Cosmetics that had an eye cream in it that I like. So I'm contemplating those two things, but anyway. So that is it. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed and I will be talking to you soon.